If you're a Fire Stick user, you may have found mouse toggle to be a helpful tool. However, it can sometimes be temperamental and stop working or not work at all. If you're experiencing this issue, you can find some quick fixes in this helpful video. Let's check it out. If you're looking for a new VPN service, why don't you check out the links in the description below this video. Clicking on these links can not only give you a great discount off of your next VPN subscription, but clicking through these links also helps to support my channel. The first step is to check that you have the correct version of mouse toggle installed for your device. If you're unsure, open your Fire Stick settings, select My Fire TV, and then select About. This will tell you the name of your Fire Stick. Then hit the back button twice, go to Applications, Manage Installed Applications, and tap down to Mouse Toggle. Look on the right hand side of the screen and here you'll find the version number. If you have a Fire TV Stick 4K or a Fire TV Stick 4K Max, you should have version 1.11 installed. For all other Fire Sticks and the second gen Fire Cube, you should have version 1.0.6. However, that's not a rule that's set in stone. If you're using the correct version and it's not working, then try installing the other version. If you have installed the wrong version of Mouse Toggle on your device, or you want to try another version of Mouse Toggle, you can easily install it by visiting my website and following the instructions provided in my previous video. Click the link in the top corner of the screen to view it or in the description below. The next step to try is to restart the Mouse Toggle service. Start by opening the Mouse Toggle app and turning both toggles at the top off. This completely stops the Mouse Toggle service from running. Next, we need to disable ADB debugging to establish a new connection with the Mouse Toggle app. Tap the blue ADB debugging button and select the option to turn it off. This will allow us to create a new connection. Before turning ADB debugging back on, restart your Fire Stick first. To do this, press your remote's select and play pause buttons simultaneously for about 10 seconds. This will automatically restart your Fire Stick. Once your Fire Stick has restarted, you can turn ADB debugging back on. From the home screen, tap on the gear icon. From there, select My Fire TV and then choose Developer Options. Finally, toggle the ADB debugging option to turn it back on. Open the mouse toggle app and reboot the service by clicking the first toggle at the top. You'll notice that the status of the mouse toggle service will change to starting and then to started at the bottom of the screen when it's ready. If you don't see the started status, don't worry, it doesn't always mean that mouse toggle isn't working. Just give your remote's play pause button a quick double tap to activate the mouse toggle pointer right in the middle of your screen and it should now be fixed. If it's not, then move on to the next tip. For some people, there may be a bug that interferes with mouse toggle that can be changed in the Fire Stick display settings. Open your Fire Stick settings and select display and audio. Select display, then choose video resolution. Change the resolution to 50 Hz. If you're using a 4K stick, select 2160p 50Hz and for non-4K Fire Sticks, choose 1080p 50Hz.
then go back to the mouse toggle app and try again to restart the service and test if mouse toggle now works. If you need help with mouse toggle, these tips should have helped. But if you still need help with issues, drop me a comment below. Let me know which Fire Stick model you're using and the versions of mouse toggle you've tested. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and helps to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers. And I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow.